Hey guys, it's Steve here at Hangsters Hot Rods, and before we get to the newest addition to our inventory, we're going to go over some new things here at Hangsters. If you want to purchase a car from us, you see a car online on our website at www.hangsters.com. Maybe it doesn't have some features that you would like it to have to make you make that final decision to purchase the vehicle. Give us a call. We can get that done for you. We'll get you a quote on what it would take to change the vehicle for your liking. Maybe you want different wheels, different exhaust system, different hood, different uh, striping, uh, digital gauges. Maybe you want the vehicle to be fuel injected. Maybe you want air conditioning. We can do vintage air kits here. Um, stuff like that, just give us a call. I'll get you a quote on what it would cost to change that vehicle to make it to your liking. We also want to remind everyone we do have financing with our vehicles. If you go on our website at www.hangsters.com, next to every vehicle, you're gonna see a financing tab. Just click on the tab, fill out the application, hit enter or submit down at the bottom left. That gets sent to us. We send it out and we go from there. We also have shipping and a powertrain warranty included in the prices of mostly all of our vehicles on our website at www.hangsters.com. Powertrain warranty is engine transmission differential, internally lubricated parts for three months or 3,000 miles. And of course, if it's a four wheel drive vehicle you buy from us, it would be the transfer case, front differential, and so on also. Um, also, if you wanna go on YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can see the videos that we have, all of our vehicles on there, and maybe some past vehicles, the vehicles we've had to get a sense of the inventory we have coming in here at Hangsters. Well, now we're gonna move on to our newest edition, what we have for you is this beautiful 1982 Chevrolet C10 pickup truck. Um, first thing you're going to notice about it is the paint. It is beautiful. Uh, it's a bright yellow and the paint our whole way around the truck is really glossy and in really great shape. You're also going to see that we do have the pinstriping in black here on the sides of the truck running along the body line on both sides. We've got a lot of custom touches on the truck and we're going to go over that as well. Uh, the wheels here, you're going to notice we have the Riddler wheels with your gray centers on the spokes and your polished lips. Very, very nice, of course, that is the whole way around. Now, coming up to our first gap on the vehicle, this is our front driver fender to door. Coming down, looks really good. And you can see our body lines here, lines up really nice and so does our striping. Um, Driver's side of the windshield, no chips and cracks. That looks really good there as well. Coming to the here, we do have custom mirrors on the vehicle. Custom chrome mirrors here. It gives it, plays with the whole tie-in of the truck there. And you're just going to see more of that as we go around. Our driver's side glass, no chips and cracks there. Very nice glass. Now, before we open the door, we'll do our second gap between, between the driver's door and the cab. Pretty even going down. And you're going to see there our body line lines up very nicely. What I'm going to do now is open up the driver's door. We'll go over the interior from this point of view. You can see there's a lot of custom touches in here, custom bucket seats. Uh, the fabric matches the custom door panels, the headliner, all custom done. You've got the custom gauges, the carbon fiber ultralight gauges. You've got the uh, tilt steering wheel, custom uh, automatic on the floor custom dash there with the aluminum insert going across the dash pads in great shape you got power windows power locks center console very nice inside there moving along here coming around to the back our back window no chips and cracks in that you also have the third brake light up there we got a tonneau cover on the bed which lifts up and we're going to show you that as we get around to the back here now coming around to the back, you've got some more custom touches back here. You've got a custom uh, tailgate here. You've got the uh, handle shade with the uh, Chevrolet bow tie embossed into the tailgate. You've got a roll pan down here, molded into the body with your custom with the uh, plate backer here. Really got a lot of nice uh, custom touches on the truck. Goes with the whole theme. It's just a beautiful truck. Now our tonneau cover here lifts up. And then you just reach down in here, open the tailgate, and we're gonna see some more custom touches here. Inside the bed, of course, you can see the floor mats that we have here, it goes with the truck, ties in with the uh, interior color. The hole inside the bed is painted in the same yellow as the outside of the truck. You do have a wood floor, this is a floating wood floor, it is on top of the existing metal wood floor. 
with the wood inside the bed here is in fantastic shape. You can see all along the wood is in great condition. And then the chrome slats are also very nice shape. And then we'll move this one as well. Another shot at the wood there. Very great, very, very nice condition for the wood there. And of course the tonneau rides on shocks there. And then what you do, shut, and then the tonneau just snaps right back down. Coming over to the passenger side. Again, I'll bring up the paint. Paint is really nice and shiny on this truck, really glossy. Of course, there's our pinch stripe and run along the body, just like the other side. Coming up to our first gap passenger side, the uh, cab to the door. Really nice going down. Of course, you see our body line lines up really nicely there. Passenger side glass, no chips and cracks. And of course, here's another custom mirror on this side as well. What I'm going to do now is open up the passenger door here. We'll go over the interior from this point of view. You can see the seats there, great condition, a dash pad and the dash is really nice. Door panels, so on. You got a custom rear view mirror there as well. Moving along to the second gap of the passenger side door to front fender. Very nice going down. Of course, our body line lines up nicely there. Passenger side of the windshield, no chips and cracks. And our hood gap from the cow to the hood, nice and even going across. Coming up to the front, front bumper chrome is really nice shape. Chrome's in great condition, a couple little scratches here and there, but overall really nice. You got a custom grill going across here. Um, overall, our headlight buckets and headlights themselves, really nice condition. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pop the hood and then we'll go over everything in the engine bay. Underneath the hood, body color also. Fenders, inside the fenders, all body color. Of course, you've got the gloss black down on the aprons here, and your firewall has all been done in gloss black. Also up your rad support here, very nicely done. What we have here is a 400 small block Chevy V8 engine. Uh, we got the Edelbrock aluminum intake with the Holly double pumper uh, street dominator four barrel carburetor. We got, um, the, of course, the nice dress up kit with the Chevrolet valve covers and the chrome engine cl air cleaner. We got power steering, power brakes. We have an MSD 6AL ignition box. We got the MSD coil, the MSD distributor. Um, we got the MSD wires. We got a lot of nice options on the vehicle here. Um, really strong runner with the exhaust headers and the other uh, performance goodies on it. Beautiful truck. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna put it up in the air and we're gonna show you how nice the undercarriage is. Hey guys, we got our C10 up in the air. We're gonna go through the undercarriage components as we always do. Starting at the front, um, we do have a front sway bar on the vehicle here. Um, control arms look to be of a stock style. We do have disc brakes on the front, drum brakes on the back. Um, our front cross member here, nice and solid. That looks really good. Our oil pan on our Chevy V8. Nice and good. Our rear main seal, our transmission pan on our turbo 400 transmission, and our output seal all look good. I don't see any leaks on any of those. And I do want to point out this is a TCI finned aluminum transmission pan. Of course, that helps with heat dissipation. Um, our front frame sections. Both look good there. Um, we do have dual exhaust on this vehicle. We got the shorty headers coming down into dual piping into dual MagnaFlow mufflers and we'll see those as we get back further. Our flooring at this point looks really good. Looks really good. You got your mounts, you got your crossbars, all your embossments are there on both sides. Moving along, um, we do have a balanced drive shaft. Like I said, our floor here, again, here's all of our bracketry. 
mounts, your embossments, everything looks good up to this point here. Of course, here's our fuel tank. You got your shield here. You got your mounts for the tank right here. They look good as well. Our center frame section looks good. Looks good. We got our e-brake cables here and here, going back to both wheels. Here's our dual exhaust, and we got dual stainless magna flow mufflers going into dual tailpipes to go up out to the back and down, and we'll see those in a moment. Our crossbars, our upper mounts here and here. All the crossbars up here all look really good, including all the crossbars under the bed, and we'll see those as we go back further as well. Coming back, our input seal at our differential, nice and dry. So is our differential cover seal in the back here. We do have leaf spring suspension on the back of the truck. Our front leaf spring mounts look good. And look good. We'll see the rear ones in a moment. Up above the differential, all the bed floor, nice and black. That all looks good. I don't see any holes or anything in any of that. All looks good. And all of our crossbars are all up there, as I had mentioned as well. We got drum brakes on the back. Um, our differential cover, nice and dry. No leaks there. Our rear sections of frame look good. Look good. Our rear spring uh, mounts look good and look good. Our exhaust, as I had mentioned, comes back, aims down at a 45 angle. Our rearmost crossbar all looks good. Our flooring back here in the bed also looks really good. All that looks really nice under here, nice and coated. Like I said, the exhaust piping. Looks to be pretty new. So there's, uh, that's a good sign there. Exhaust is taken care of. Um, all in all, looks really nice under here. And what we're gonna do now, guys, is we're gonna drop it down and fire it up to hear the engine run.